Hello, it's Mitchell Prentice here, and today I wanted to talk about solving equations with um, brackets, so with the distributive law. Uh, so the first thing we need to realize or remember with this is how to expand brackets, and the kind of questions that we get is just remember if we've got 2 times by a plus 3, that with our distributive law, the 2 multiplies by the a, and it multiplies by the 3. So what we would say for this is that 2 times a is 2a, and also plus 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, so don't just write this as 2a plus 3. This is how we expanded them out uh, earlier. So what we're getting in these kind of questions then is solving these that have um, in an equation instead of just what this expanding this expression is. So what I mean by that is if we have, say, 2 by x minus 5 is equal to, say, 12, we want to solve this equation. And I did one of these earlier. If it is just a basic simple equation like this, you do not have to expand out this brackets first, okay? Because what I could do is divide this side by 2 and this side by 2, and then this would cancel out. So what I mean by this is this left-hand side, if I just divide this side by 2, there's a, this is 2 times by there, the 2 and the 2 will cancel out to become 1, and then that left-hand side will become x minus 5. Okay, the right-hand side I also would have to divide by 2, and therefore that would give me to 6, x minus 5 is equal to 6. Okay, I could then add 5 to both sides and get x is equal to 11 uh, to solve this. Okay, so this is the really simple cases where, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> don't worry, I don't have corona, I don't think, um, where we don't need to expand out the brackets. Okay, we could have expanded out the brackets. Uh, if I expanded out just to the right here, it will be 2 times x minus 10. So I would have expanded out to be 2x minus 10 is equal to 12. Um, I then add 10 to both sides, so 2x is equal to 22. And then if I half this side and half this side, I'll get x is equal to 11, and I'll get the same answer. Okay, so you could expand it out, and you wouldn't lose marks to expand it out. However, it's easier just to divide it out that way. Um, but the problem is now, is what about when we get ones with, say, more than just one term? So let's have a look and see. So e.g. E.g. 2, what about if I got, say, 3x plus 7 is equal to, say, 2x? Okay. 3x plus 7 is equal to 2x. And now if I divide this side by 3, I probably could still do this, I would end up with two-thirds of x on this right-hand side as well. Okay, um, yeah, I could do this. It would still get me, I, I might do it that way in a second. Um, but if I got a question like this, I'd probably find it e easier to expand out these brackets first. Okay, so I would expand out these brackets and get, let me just zoom in a little bit, and get the, let's have a look. 3 times is by the x, so I get 3x, and plus the 3 times is by the 7, so 7, 14, 21. Okay, 3x is equal to 21, and then that, uh, and that equals to 2x. So 3x plus 21 equals to 2x. So I haven't changed the equation at all. I've just literally expanded that out there. Okay, I've just wrote this part in its equivalent way using the distributive law. And now I've just got an equation that has a pronumeral on both sides. 
okay? I would take away the 2x from this right side, okay? So if I take away 2x from the right side, I'll be left with nothing, zero, and I take away 2x from this left side as well. So 3x take away 2x is just 1x, which we can just write x. You don't need to write 1x, okay? And I've still got plus 21. Okay, I haven't solved it, haven't finished solving it yet, okay, because I've just taken away 2x, taken away 2x. To get x by itself, to get x to know what that is equal to, I have to take away the 21 from this side, and therefore I will take away 21 from the right side as well. So it's x equals negative 21. Okay, so that was our final answer there. Uh, just by the way, I could, you could actually divide both sides by 3, and you could get x plus 7. I'll just write it a bit bigger. You would get x plus 7 is equal to 2 thirds of x, just say. Okay? So if you just divide both sides by 3, you could have got this. But it's probably not that helpful, because then you would have to take away 2 thirds of x from the right-hand side. So 1x take away two-thirds of x, well, one take away two-thirds is just one-third of x plus seven is equal to zero. Okay, can you see what I've just done? I took away two-thirds of x from the right side, so I took away two-thirds of x from the left side. Okay, I would now have to take away seven, so one-third of x is equal to negative seven. Okay, I took away seven, so I took away seven, and then I would I want to work out what 1x is here. So this is the same, remember, as x over 3. So I would multiply this by 3. So 1 third of x times by 3. A third times 3 is just 1x. Okay, and I would times this side by 3 as well, which is negative 21. 7, 14, 21, isn't it? Okay, they both got the same answer. I was just showing you a different way of doing it. However, this way is probably harder because we are dealing with fractions. Okay, so that was my EG2. <coughs> Let's look at EG3. EG3. So what about if I've got my distributive law on both <coughs> sides? So here I've got, just say I've got 7x minus 5 is equal to 4x plus 3. Okay, what, do, what does x need to be to make this equation true? What does x need to be to make this equation true? Um, I'll just remind you that if you haven't been doing it, it, it will be worth pausing uh, before I go through each question and seeing if you can work it out before I do. So you can just check to make sure you do understand, but that's okay if you don't. So I'm going to look at this and say, well, I can't divide, you know, if I divide by four or divide by seven, it's not going to help me at all. So I do have to expand both of these out first. Okay, so the seven, I'm going to expand this out, seven times x minus 35. So the left-hand side is seven x minus 35. Okay, and the right hand side is 4 times x plus 4 times 3, so 4x plus 12. Okay, this has now become an equation with pronumerals on both sides. So I will take away 4x from both sides. I don't need to leave a line space, by the way. You could just write it like here instead of here, but that's okay. I take away 4x from this right side. So I take away 4x from this side, 7x take away 4x um, is 3x. Okay, so I took away 4x, so I take away 4x. I wanna, uh, I wanna just solve for x, I'm going to add 35 to both sides. You know, the opposite, minus 35 is plus 35, so I get 3x. Okay, so I added 35 to get rid of this one. Okay, so it's now 3x minus 35 plus 35 is just that. And I add 35 to this side as well. 35, 45, 46, 47. 
Okay, so 3x is 47, and I divide by 3. I don't know what 47 over 3 is, so I go to my calculator. 47 divided by 3, or over 3 if you want. Uh, so 15 and 2 thirds. I'll just write or 15 and 2 thirds. Okay, um, but it's not there. Just remember if you want to show this as an improper fraction, it's behind this um, fraction decimal button here. So you press shift and then that button. See, 15 and 2 thirds. I mean, I already know 0.6666 is 2 thirds. So. Um, my next example, so hopefully you got that. My next example, just remember, is if you've got a minus um, and expanding this out. So this is EG4. So just say you had 3m minus 4 minus 2m minus 5s is equal to, say, 7. Okay, so for this part here, I just want to remind you that when you've got the negative here, that's going to multiply by both of these terms. Okay, you're taking away 2m and you're also taking away 2 times negative 5, which is plus 10. That's going to end up being minus 2 times minus 5 is plus 10 for this case. So just remember, if you see these, a taking away a negative, that will be plus. Okay, so I see this question. I want to just expand and simplify this left hand side before I even solve the question. Okay, so I expand this side, this first one. So three times by M minus three times by four, which is 12. Okay, so that was three M and then three times four. And then I've got minus two times M, so minus two M and also minus two times minus five, which was plus 10. Okay, so I just did that and that. So the left-hand side, LHS, I expanded out to be this. And now I could still just put this left-hand side together because there's like terms. Uh, 3M, let's have a look, 3M minus 2M is just 1M on the left side. So that left side has 1M. And it's also got a... Uh, it was another color, minus 12 plus 10. Okay, so if I'm down at negative 12 or minus 12 and then I add 10 to that, I'm at minus 2. Okay, and that equals to 7. Uh, I don't like how I wrote that really expanded out. I might just grab this and just move it across. Okay, I try to keep my equal sign in line. Okay, that's what I try to do. They don't have to be in line but I like to write it like that. Okay, I haven't obviously solved, finished solving it because I need, I've got minus two, so I will, I will add two to both sides. So M is equal to nine as our answer. Okay, you could check and see if that is correct as um, M equal to nine. The left-hand side is three times uh, M is nine, so nine minus four. I put brackets because I'm used to putting back brackets when I'm substituting. And then minus 2 times m minus 5. 9 minus 5. So hopefully that, I just typed in the left-hand side and press equals. Hopefully that's 7. Look at that. It is perfect. So um, 9 was the only answer that would make this one true. The only answer that would make this one true. Uh, this was EG4, was it? Two more examples. EG5. Okay, I want to talk about some ones with fractions. Okay, so for example, just say I have 2 times x minus 7 over 5 is equal to, say, 
3x plus 1. Okay. Actually, I might just go 3x plus 1. Yeah, I just, I'll just leave it as that. Okay. Now, firstly, I just want you to realize that this here, that divide by 5, applies to both the 2x and the minus 14. So we could actually expand this out as being 2 fifths times by x minus 7. Okay, that could actually be expanded out or written, I'll rub it out, it could be written as 2 fifths of x minus 7. Okay, there's tons of different ways we can see this, um, but this is meant to be the term 2x two, two minus 7s and then whatever that is over 5. That's why I wrote it like this, but that means the same thing, it's equivalent. But what I want to do, if I get this fraction, it doesn't really matter. I just have to make sure I multiply this left-hand side by 5 to remove it. Okay, um, so I multiply this side by 5. And what that would do, I'll just show you, times this side by 5, the left-hand side. Um, and that whole thing is times by 5, and that cancels out there. See? They cancel out. So if I multiply by 5, I'll just erase that. The left-hand side is equal to just 2x minus 7. Okay, uh, and what that means, I also have to multiply this right-hand side by 5 as well. Okay, everything gets multiplied by 5. Everything. The left side all does, and the right side does. The whole, like, right-hand side and the whole left-hand side gets multiplied by 5. So I'm going to write that, though, not like this. I'm going to write it as 5 by 3x plus 1. Okay, so that's... What I've got as my first step, I multiplied both sides by 5 so that I can expand this out and now get 2x minus 14 oh, is equal to 5 times 3x, which is 15x, plus 5. Okay, so this is what I've got. Uh, it might be easier to remove the x's to the right side, so I keep as a positive, but you could obviously take away 15x here to make it negative 13x on this side. I'm going to take away 2x from this side and I'm going to take away 2x from that side as well. I'm going to I'm going to get rid of the x's from the left hand side. Okay, so I took away 2x, so I'm left with just the negative 14. I take away 2x here, 15x take away 2x is 13x plus 5. Okay, so I've done that. I will take away the 5 from both sides, so 13x is equal to uh, minus 14 minus 5, so minus 19, and then I will divide, divide both sides by 13. Okay, I'm going to swap the sides here, so x is negative 19 divided by 13, whatever that is. Now, obviously, these look like prime numbers, so it's not going to be helpful. You could write the negative in front of the fraction but it's some random decimal that is probably recurring or not recurring as um, probably just yeah, keeps going. Okay, I'd say this number is, um, it keeps going. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Just say e.g. 6. You have a... You've got questions like this in your book. So just say you've got like a, a rectangle and another rectangle. Okay? And they overlap by, say, X amount. X amount there. So... Let's have a look and see. So if this is 5 and this is, say, 12, and this is maybe, I'm just making these numbers up, so maybe this is 8 and 6. Okay, what we want to do is work out x so that 
area one is equal to area two for these rectangles. Okay, this is just a, you know, just a thinking thing. So what we want is we know that area one is equal to area two. Okay, so what does this mean? What is area one? A area one is, say, length times breadth, just say. Okay, it has a length times a breadth. So the, we know the breadth there is 12, so I'm just going to put that as 12 for area one. And that's times by its length, which we can see is x plus 5. So 12 is times by x plus 5. Okay, I don't need that times, I'll rub it out. That's area 1, and that equals to area 2, which is 6, 6 up, okay, by uh, here, x plus 8. The length is x plus 8, so that equals to 6 by x plus 8. Okay, and then therefore, what do we get? We get 12 x plus 12 x plus 60 12 times 5 is 60 is equal to 6 x uh, plus I'm terrible with these times tables 48 I hope it's 48 I'm gonna check that because 6 8 is one of the ones I always have not known from primary school that well okay all the others I seem okay with, but for some reason, 48, 56, those numbers, I don't remember. So, I'm now going to just solve this pronumerals on both sides equation. So, I'll take away 6x from both sides. So, 6x plus, I'll write that down, take away 6x, take away 6x from both sides. So, 6x plus 60 is equal to... 48 Okay, I just want to work out what X is so I'm going to take away 60 From both sides so 6x is on left on the left side side and I took away 60 48 take away 60 What's that negative 12? Yep Okay, so X is negative 12 so, so the uh, 6x is negative 12 so X is negative 12 over 6, which is negative 2. Impossible, isn't it? I made up that question, and it's an impossible question. Therefore, therefore, the rectangles are impossible. Why is that? Okay. Impossible to have the same area. as x should be greater than 0 because in our question I said, where's my picture, because it's a physical thing, x actually had to be a distance and it couldn't be a negative distance in this picture. Okay, so there's only one value of x that would make this area equal to that area and that is if x is negative 2 because 12 times 3 is 36 Okay, 5 and then minus 2, if x was negative 2, 12 times 3 is 36, and then this side would be 6 times 6. You see, 8 and then minus 2, 6 by 6, which is 36. So the only value of x that would make the areas the same is negative 2, and that is impossible because we can't have it. So therefore, the rectangles are impossible to have the same area as x has to be greater than 0. Um, should be, I should say, as x, as x is less than zero. No, I'll just say x is greater than zero. As should be, x is greater than zero. I'm going to do one more extension question in terms of fractions for you. Okay, uh, and that would be EG7. I said I would stop at EG6, but I just want to just 
get you to have uh, this in mind. So just say I have, um, say, 2, say, 3x minus 5 over 5 plus x is equal to 7 seven x minus 4. Um, I realized this before when I had the fraction question. Okay, I've added an x here. Look at my question here. I didn't have, if I go back here, I didn't have another term on this side. So the only difference is I've added the x term here. Okay, and there would be two ways of solving this. Okay, the first way of solving this would be to... Oh, it's starting to freeze. I might have to stop here. The first way would to be I could take away the x from both sides and then it would be the exact same. Uh, 2 by 3x minus 5 over 5 is equal to... 6x minus 4. Okay, it'd be the exact same as my previous question by taking away x and taking away x from both sides, and then I could solve. Multiply both sides by 5. Okay, so 5 times that whole thing there, and then expand and solve. Um, but I just wanted to bring this question up because if you did have another term on this left-hand side brackets and I didn't solve it that easy way, Okay, just say I wanted to multiply by 5 first. Okay, so I'm multiplying both sides of the equation by 5, like that. Okay, I could put the arrows to show that, but what I just want you to realize is if you are multiplying by a number, like by 5, then every single thing has to be multiplied by 5. So that means the left-hand side of the equation, this term is going to be multiplied by 5. So let's have a look and see. I'll rub out these. Oops, I just got rid of the question. I think it was a 2. I think it was a 2. I multiply this side by 5. Okay, this gets multiplied by 5, so I get left with 2 by 2. 3x minus 5, but also that is multiplied by 5 as well. So I'm left with plus 5x, okay? And then this right-hand side, again, everything gets multiplied by 5. So you could write 5 by 7x minus 4, or just showing you 5 times 7x is 35x, and also 5 times the negative 4, which is negative 20. So just realize that I just wanted to show you that everything, that term, or that, say, expression, that expression, that expression, and that expression, all got multiplied by 5. So I'm left with 6x minus 10 plus 5x is equal to 35x minus 20. Okay, x minus 10 is 35x minus 20. I just put together this 6x. Oh, nearly, nearly stuffed it up. 6x plus 5x, is it? 6x plus 5x is 11x. 11x minus 10 is 35x minus 20, and then I would solve this. Okay, I'll take away 11x from both sides. So I'm left with negative 10 on the left side, and I'm left with oh, 35 minus 11, 25, 24, x minus 20. Okay, I'll add 20 to both sides, plus 20 to both sides. So the right side is now 24x, and minus 20 plus 20 is just nothing, so 24x. And minus 10 plus 20 is 10, and then I'll divide by 24. So it's 10 over 24 which is 5 over 12. Okay, I'll leave it there.